I'm at the 2024 Australian Agritech Investor Showcase and I'm with Kim Agnew from Sorensis. How are you, Kim? Tim, good to meet you. Great to be here. It's fantastic to talk to you, mate. You're doing something really interesting with cattle birth control in extensive systems. Tell me a little bit about why birth control is required in these large-scale extensive grazing systems. Yeah, no, thanks, Tim. The key thing to remind yourselves is just the scale of these properties. Yep. Like one boundary can be thousands of kilometres long, right? So in historically, the industry's had real trouble managing bull control over that time, road bulls, they call them. And so the issue that the uh, industry's got is that um, get unwanted pregnancies in young heifers and an older cows that are ready to go to market. So my goal is to provide them with a non-surgical technology which is going to chemically sterilise these young and older cows. So you're using existing drug technology, yep. which has been proven in horses, in dogs, and in cattle. And in cattle, yep. And you're developing a novel delivery system so that people can just put a chip implant into the ear that lasts for 12 months and goes away. That's the goal. Right. So we're pretty early in our stage, and that exciting news is that we're going to have first cattle study in about four months. Yes. So that's exactly the concept we want to provide. Um, so we've de-risked the project by using chemistry, which is already approved by regulators around the globe. So we're building just a brand new formulation delivery mechanism because no one's been able to provide 12 months duration before Tim. So we're we are really pushing the boundaries of technology here. So you're aiming at sterilising young heifers for a 12 month period and also sterilising mature cows so that they can gain weight and attain market value. Exactly. So we want to make sure those heifers get to the correct weight to yeah. calve without any issues and just let those older cows, I mean they're built for breeding, they've bred for years so the likelihood is they'll get in calf again, but we want to make sure their last sort of um, period is stress-free and so they can put that weight on and then have more marketing options for their producers. And this trial will probably also be one of the first opportunities for producers to actually figure out how many of those young heifers and how many of those older cows are dying yeah. um, because of unwanted or unnecessary pregnancy. Yes. Yeah, I think producers have a good idea on their heifers, but on the older cows, you're right. I think that data is pretty hard to come by. Yep. Um, and hopefully we can get to work with the Northern Territory group. Yep. Really good connections with the regional beef groups up there, KPAC and those guys. So we've had great support and engagement from them, which has been fantastic. Well, it's ticking all the boxes, isn't it? It's improving the welfare of extensive grazing systems. Yep. It's improving the return. Yep. And it's a really easy technology to use with an applicator gun. Yeah, and that could be some exciting stuff there, but we want it to be simple, safe, and, and really make sure that farmers don't need to do anything different than they already know now when they put the implant in. So if you think around growth emotants or um, AI type technologies, it'll be very similar approach to those. So it's nothing new to learn. No. It's just a new tool in the toolbox you that's going it. to improve sustainability. Yes, exactly. Fantastic, mate. I can't wait to hear about it. Really and I want to find out too. about that trial. Good on you. All the best, Tim. Guys, don't forget, subscribe to the channel and you get to meet great people like this.